a very good evening to all today we are discussing about types of optical fiber this topic from fiber optics here optical fiber this optical fiber is classified into three types one is based on materials second one based on number of mode third one based on refractive index generally the materials is classified into two types one is glass fiber another one is plastic fiber next one is number of modes this number of modes classified into two types one is single mode fiber another one is multi mode fiber third one refractive index the refractive index is classified into two types one is step index fiber another one is grade index fiber now we are discussed about one by one first one is glass fiber glass fiber means this type of fibers made up of a mixture of silica glasses and metal oxide materials or generally this material is made up of glass materials which are all called as glass fiber for example we are taking already know that all the fiber optic materials made up of core and cladding here the core materials core material is made up of germanium dioxide and silicon dioxide this is made up of core material and another one is cladding materials that is cladding material which is made up of si o2 here the two type of materials are using this glass fibers core and cladding another one is plastic fiber what is meant by plastic fiber means the fiber optic materials which is made up of plastic materials which is called plastic fiber here we are using already know that core and cladding material type of polystyrene and the cladding material is made up of pm m a pm m a what is pm m a means polymethyl metha acrylate polymethyl metha acrylate next one is based on number of modes one is single mode fiber another one is multi mode fiber what is single mode fiber the name itself it shows what is the properties of this material the single mode fiber is, is nothing but so only one mode is propagate through the fiber which is called single mode fiber that is only one mode is propagate through the fiber which is called as single mode fiber and some of the characteristics of the single mode fiber is during the period that is only one mode is propagate through the fiber and it can support only one mode propagations only one mode propagations here the core diameter here the core diameter is very small this is the core and the core diameter is very small in order to very few times of the wavelength few times of the wavelength and it have a small refractive index difference between core and cladding here you know that the refractive index of core is high than that of refractive index of cladding this is the refractive index of cladding small n2 the refractive index of core is n1 here a single mode fiber which have used along with the laser diodes in the type of materials we are used in laser diodes second one is 
multimode fiber multimode fiber means if more than one mode transmit through the fiber which is called multimode fiber and here the multimode fibers the light can travel different paths that is lower angle path another one is higher angle but this is lower angle the another one is zero to order the center is neutral axis or zero order this one is higher angle here the more than one waves propagate through the fiber which is called multi mode fiber the third one is classification based on the refractive index there are two types one is step index fiber another one is grade index fiber and the step index fiber is also classified into two types that is step index single mode another one is step index multi mode single mode and another one is multi mode what is the step index fiber here in the structure the step index fiber single mode is which consists of the uniform refractive index the uniform refractive index that is the refractive index of core cladding is step by step that is called as step index fiber here the refractive index of free space is called as n not the refractive index of cladding is called as n2 the refractive index of core is denoted by n1 so here the refractive index of core is high when compared to refractive index of cladding and also the diameter the diameter of the core is 5 to 10 micrometer the range of diameter 5 to 10 micrometer the diameter of the cladding is 50 to 125 micrometer the size of the core and cladding here this is cladding this one is core and the core have high refractive index when compared to cladding here in this refractive index that is free space to cladding cladding to core here the refractive index is abruptly change suddenly change but in the case of grade index this gradually increases that is something different here the core diameter is very small core diameter is very small in single mode fiber similarly the multi mode fiber is it's nothing but already you know that multi mode fiber more than one mode is propagate through this fiber this is a single mode fiber means for example only one mode propagate through the fiber but in the case of multi mode fiber means more than one mode is propagate through the fiber that is more than one mode propagate through this fiber with the different angle of incidence different angle of incidence this is multi mode step index fiber but the structure of the fiber is very similar that is step by step the core cladding interface is step by step and the refractive index is abruptly change abruptly change here in multi mode fiber the core diameter fifty to two hundred micrometer. Similarly, 
the cladding diameter is 125 to 300 micrometer so this is the diameter of the multi mode step index fiber so here and the based on the size of the materials is varying from step index multi mode and step index single mode fiber but the structure is very similar already you know that the only one mode is propagated through this fiber which is called single mode step index fiber more than one mode is propagate through the fiber which is step index multi mode fiber and the structure is similar based on the diameter core and cladding diameter is varying from single mode and multi mode fiber the advantages of step index fiber step index fiber since this type of fiber we are using the source is led used for the source is led and they are easier to operate the operate is very easier then this type of uh, step index fiber we are using led that is longer life than the laser diode when compared to laser diode the led diode is very longer lifetime then they are less expensive when compared to cladding this is less expensive and the structure is not complicated the structure is not complicated then what is the disadvantage of this method is they suffer from intermodal dispersions intermodal dispersion but in the case of uh, grade index fiber that is no intermodal dispersion less intermodal dispersion and the tra data transmission is less efficiency this is the data transmission is less efficiency and the low bandwidth bandwidth is very low when compared to grade index fiber that's why mostly the data transmit from long distance or medium distance they are using the grade index fiber and the application of this uh, step index fiber is that is data links which require low bandwidth we are using only the application of low bandwidth areas these are the application of step index fiber the last one is grade index fiber in this fiber which contains only one that is a multi mode fiber there is no single mode fiber in grade index fiber what is a grade index fiber means the refractive index of core is maximum the refractive index of core is maximum along the fiber axis and it is gradually decreasing towards the core cladding interface gradually decreasing towards the core cladding interface this is called as graded index fiber graded index fiber here also gradually decreasing to the core cladding interface and the core cladding interface of cladding is abruptly change and this is n not that is free space this is n2 graded index and the size of the core and the cladding is this is 50 to 200 micrometer the diameter of the core and the diameter of the cladding is 100 to 250 micrometer so this one is cladding this is core already you know that the core have high refractive index when compared to cladding in this method only multi mode fiber index available the, the source is travel through the intermodal dispersion
so this is multi mode gradient dense fiber then what are the characteristics of this multi mode gradient index is the small numerical aperture video small numerical aperture and it has intermediate bandwidth intermediate bandwidth then low attenuation attenuation means losses so here low losses and the source of light either led or laser diodes then what are the advantages of uh, this uh, greater index is that is intermodal dispersion is reduced with this type of fiber and it is a high quality fiber and has good bandwidth I already told you the bandwidth is high and what is the disadvantages of uh, this method is it is the most expensive in all type of fibers most expensive and the fabrication is difficult why because the grid index is core cladding interface is slightly decreasing towards the core cladding interface the core is maximum and towards the core cladding interface is slightly decreasing that is the structure of this uh, fiber is somewhat difficult and what is the application of uh, this gradient index fiber is it is widely used in intracity drunk between central telephone office intracity telephone office the day and another one is the medium distance applications we are using this type of uh, optical fiber for medium distance applications thank you